The Natalie Scott Collection. Authentic living, authentic luxury. I'm in the showroom studio of a father and son art team who designed for the Natalie Scott Collection. Their one-of-a-kind pieces go beyond the ordinary to the extraordinary. Designed by nature, discovered and uncovered by the artist. These solid, rounded pieces of furniture with integrity are designed for today, but built to last generations. I sat down with Alfonso and Alfonso Jr. to discuss their design philosophy. What they do with what they find in nature goes beyond my expectations. That is why they are part of the Natalie Scott collection. Their pieces look different from every angle, giving you 360 degrees of authentic beauty. In addition, they're charming and so much fun to work with. And I know you'll be very satisfied with what they can do for you. Please take a look. Alfonso and Alfonso. Mm -hmm. I have a father and son artist. Alfonso Sr. started this business 40 years ago. And 12 years ago, Alfonso decided to take beautiful fallen trees and makes his furniture line. And I love the line of furniture. he makes from the chains, from the antique chains, and I love the fact that he put the ancient piece of mesquite wood and the cross, they're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. The collection is sustainable. Only fallen trees and discarded metals are used. Now these are made of uh, fallen trees. We don't cut them at all. We just preserve, preserve nature. We just we, we have to make sure that those trees are fallen. We don't cut them, and we just we work have, on it. We have the permission. We have permissions, and we have everything right. I love these coffee tables. This is one of his fallen trees. This is the Alamo tree. He carves out. It's the natural shape of the trunk. And you could design any base. You could do a stone base, an iron base. You could also put it on a taller base and make a beautiful center wall table. Alfonso makes terrific dining room tables. Um, this table in particular is made out of mesquite and alamo. He's actually taken two trunks and put a combination of foods. Here is one of Alfonso's tables. It's made out of a slab from solid tree trunk. What makes this one a little unique is he takes the, the iron bands with the rivets. So the table's broken into three or four sections. And I love what he's done with the base. He's put just the natural organic tree trunk. He's left it alone, he's left the knots, and he has an iron band at the top. Here we have another beautiful table by Alfonso. This is the Alamo wood. It's a lighter wood, it's a beautiful honey-colored finish, and it's from one solid tree trunk. There's no seams, there's no boards. This was a beautiful old piece of timber. I know you guys you probably can't see this very well because of the angle and where it is, but these are absolutely gorgeous bars. And the bars come with a back bar. So there's a coordinating back bar that goes with the bar. sculpture you created outside here. When I founded this 
piece of gold in the fall. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a basis for the bar. But when I could, in the half, I see the, the animal. I love the way he's put it behind the glass. Put it in the garden on the yeah. window. Exactly, put it in the garden. Well, this really, to me, shows the artistry of your father. He takes these pieces of wood that he finds. He doesn't know what he's going to create that morning. He starts chopping little pieces off here and there, and suddenly the sculpture comes out of the wood. Yeah, that's what I, what, what I was telling you. Before, there are two designers, my father and nature. That's the way we do it. Talk about a large piece of furniture. I absolutely love these benches. These would be fantastic in a large home, a hotel or a restaurant or resort. They're made out of the solid, ancient mesquite wood. Another part of this collection is these large metal pots. These pots are made of iron, iron. and then he has chains from machinery. This is one of my favorite pieces of Alfonso's collection. This is a beautiful sideboard or console table. I love how he took the solid tree trunk top. Again, this is the Alamo wood, the honey-colored wood. And then he found this beautiful tree trunk with the angle, and the top is cantilevered over. I'm standing behind these gorgeous, solid wrought iron gates. I love them. Alfonso can make a set of these gates for your home as well. They are beautiful. Come on in. Okay, we're in another little salon of Alfonso's studio, and here is a bar. This is actually the front bar to one of the back bars we saw earlier. Um, and check out this mirror. This is hand-carved solid wood. I don't even know how large it is. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the colors of this artist. He's an artist from Mexico, and he uses the vivid colors. And this is actually a pair of paintings. It's just a close-up of the girl's arm. It's so modern and so fresh. Have you ever danced on a coffee table? Check this out. This table makes me think of my friends in Tampa. They have fantastic dinner parties. And at the end of the evening, everyone ends up dancing on the coffee table. Something about dancing on tables, yes, I just to do it. God, it's not going anywhere. I think, you're, I think a group of 10 could dance on this and it's not gonna move. Here is the heart and soul of Alfonso's life and business. Here is where he discovers what is inside the ancient timber and brings it to life. So this is one of his sculptures in progress. You take your time until you see what comes to you for the table, the table or the sculpture. When I finish, I'm going to send you the pictures. Okay. So you see it in its raw state, and then we'll see what Alfonso turns it into. His finishes are designed for living, authentic living. He's not getting the joke. <laughs> Explain the joke. Oh, yeah, yeah. You never know what you'll find if you come into a beautiful piece of wood. Now he gets it. Okay. Now he gets it to the camera. <laughs> see, he got it now. Yes, I understand. <laughs> Nunca sé lo que voy a hacer cuando encuentro una pieza de madera hasta que está terminada de madera. ¿Y ahora encontraste? I think some things got lost in translation, but oh well, we had fun. Muchas gracias, Alfonso. No. Fun. Fun. Thank you so much, dear friends, for spending so much time with us and for sharing your joy for living and life, sharing your joy for authentic living and authentic luxury. I'm so glad you're with me. Ciao.